Cocology by Apps Machina. A True Adventure Have you ever had a true adventure? The kind you read about in novels or watch on the silver screen. An action-filled series of cliff-hanging scrapes and brushes with destiny. And of course, a touch of romance to keep interest levels high. Wouldn't you like to? 1. You are a warrior in an ancient kingdom and have chosen to accompany the most famous hero in the land on a mission to recover a stolen treasure. What does the hero say to you as you prepare to embark on your quest? Number 2. Before you set off, the king summons you and gives you a sword to see you through your adventure. What kind of sword is it? Describe it in detail. 3. Your travels take you over high mountains and through dense old forests, and you encounter many obstacles and crises along the way. Now, you have finally arrived at the mouth of the cave where the stolen treasure lies waiting. How many enemies have you met thus far in the course of your adventure? Number 4. You enter the cavern and finally discover the treasure you have been seeking. At that moment, what expression crosses the face of the great hero you accompanied on this quest? Describe the expression in detail. Key to a True Adventure By entering the role of a warrior changed with a mission of great importance, you also assume the associated feelings of pride in being trusted with such responsibility. Your answers to this quiz are linked to how you handle your own pride. Number 1. The words the venerated hero spoke to you are words that play on your pride in a sense. The words you imagine the hero saying are words you have a weak spot for and that can spur you to action. Did you hear something inspiring like, Trust me, I'm counting on you, or we're going to have to work together. Each has its own special significance for the way you want to be called on for help. Or was the hero something less than encouraging to stay out of the way or if you're thinking about quitting, now's the time. You have a soft spot in your heart for people with cold attitudes. Number two, the sword the king gave you is a symbol of your own self-pride. Was it finely crafted shining blade or a rusty old barely serviceable tool? Number three, the number of enemies you encounter signifies the number of obstacles and crises you see yourself as having overcome in your own life so far. The greater the number, the greater your confidence in your own abilities and pride in yourself should be. How many did you say? Several hundred? One thing you don't lack is self-assurance. Of course, after all those adventures, we're sure you have very valid reasons. Just one or two. Maybe you need more life experience to help you gain confidence in yourself. You didn't meet any enemies? Either the villains were too scared to show their faces after hearing you were coming, or you just figured they wouldn't bother with someone insignificant like you. Number 4. How did the hero react on recovering the lost treasure? The great hero who led you on this adventure actually represents those characteristics you admire most in the opposite sex. Regardless of the gender you imagine the hero to be. The expression you pictured in the hero's face is the expression you find most attractive on a person of the opposite sex. Was it an ear-to-ear -ear grin? A look of proud satisfaction or plain relief? Or maybe tears of joy? Whatever the expression, remember it. Someday, someone may use it to unlock your heart. Cocology produced by Apps Machina Credits to Tadahiko Nagao and Isama Saitu.